African Utility Week studio. I'm Nicolette Pompa van Sale, editor of ESI Africa. Today I am speaking to Dapo Akunason, who is the advisor, special advisor, to the vice president of the task force for power in Nigeria. He is also the managing director of um, uh, Simmons Cooper Partners. Welcome, Dapo. Good evening. How are you today? Thank you for joining us here. Um, Dapo, I'd like to start um, with looking at policy and regulatory environments in Nigeria. What can we expect coming out of the country in, say, the next year? In terms of the policy, the government is looking at uh, helping the generating more power and delivering to the people of Nigeria. So the policies are geared towards supporting the weak areas in the power delivery sector, some of which is the distribution of electricity that is generated already. Plenty of it is lost in transmission. A lot of it is lost to commercial losses, technical losses, even at the point of distribution that it doesn't reach the homes. And there's also power theft. So the government is looking at strengthening that area to enable power be delivered to homes by increasing distribution capacities, supporting the rollout by the Niger Delta Power Holding Company to build more distribution centers and strengthen transmission lines. Right now, the transmission has also been concessioned out to a, an international company so that it would develop faster than being in the hands of individuals. The government is still looking at that. In terms of regulation, the weak area has been collection of monies by the distribution companies to pay back the generators. That value chain, the regulators are looking at more critically now. Starting from the, from the dis uh, dis distribution companies, the government is trying to ensure that they're accountable for all the monies collected and also trying to make sure that they put more investments in that sector. Because they took over these assets, they were old, they were aging, but many of them understood that. They've had challenges with the fluctuation in the Naira rates, the exchange rates, but the government is saying most of these things you knew they were, fine. They were business risks you took. And it is very likely that government is going to look harder on those areas and say we need to review your understandings at the time you took over and make sure you invest more. Right, right. so with a, a really impactful regulatory environment, then projects can be developed. So can you talk around uh, what projects are currently underway uh, or ones that uh, have just foreclosed? Projects that are underway in Nigeria to help. For um, the Nasarawa State, there's a distribution company, that distribution center that is being built to move power to the north. The government has just recently concluded the transmission lines in Calabar Axis yeah. in the southeast, which gives more, takes power out of that area, which was built by the Niger Delta Power Holding Company. We also have, uh, in Akwai Bomb states now around the Niger Delta as well, a solar plant being developed where solar panels are going to be built in Nigeria. Right. And we have uh, quite a number of other power projects being developed along the line. A lot of IPPs, the Azura is going to be ready in another year. We have the Brass, brass in Agbarais, in uh, Mowe in Ogun State. Mm -hmm. And we have a number of other IPPs coming up, Centurion Energy, Oma, Oma Project in the Southeast. So there's a lot of power projects coming up to energize the system and the distribution is also being strengthened right. to ensure there's delivery to homes. You've mentioned a lot about IPPs and this then brings me to the question around uh, companies that want to do business in Nigeria. What advice do you have for them? to hurry up and come. There are 180 million Nigerians. There is a minimum requirement today of 18,000 megawatts. What we are distributing today is between 4,000 and 6,000 megawatts. There is an installed capacity of up to 12,000 megawatts. But to even move from six now to 12, it's going to take a lot of more investments and a lot of opportunities in Nigeria and there is the capacity to pay 
it is just a question of a paradigm shift. Before now, government backstopped a lot of the power transactions, but as government has withdrawn from it, people are beginning to realize that power is not a gift from government. We need to pay for it. And as long as that understanding is there, I am sure that that is a market you cannot miss out on. Starting from generation to distribution, manufacturing of panels, manufacturing of all the equipment you need. The market is big and very well. But and this government is doing a lot in terms of um, making it more comfortable to do business in Nigeria. The ease of business, doing business in Nigeria has been a focus of this administration. They have made it possible to obtain visas on arrival in Nigeria, so all the trouble of having to wait for visas are not there. The, what I would also advise people coming into Nigeria is to do so a little bit of research and find the right partners to lead you into the market. But of course, I mean, using lawyers and other people like that will help you to settle in comfortably and quickly, but definitely there are a lot of opportunities. So with the, the, the policies making uh, doing business in Nigeria much easier uh, and more accommodating to international companies, what do you predict in terms of the power and energy sector in the coming year? In the coming year, I see the power generation increasing. I see the distribution becoming more effective. And uh, I see going, Nigerians are even going out now to invest in business. It's such a big opportunity, such a new area. A lot of education, a lot of knowledge is coming into Nigerians who did not know about this. But because of the privatization of the industry, the Nigerians are taking it to another level. Right now, I know Nigerians in Rwanda, Nigerians are going to Liberia and Gambia to even invest in power projects. And I know all over Africa, you're going to see, particularly in the West, you will see Nigerians moving into the energy market and taking charge. Thank you so much for joining us, Dapo. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette Pombo Fanseo, editor of ESR Africa, coming to you from the African Utility Week studio.